Hello racers, what's going on? And this is the very first video on this well anyway for channel. So the game is nearing the end of its life cycle and I decided to just do a little fun challenge. So in today's video I'm driving as Nicolas Latifi in a Williams around the Spa Francorchamps circuit, uh, trying to go from last to first. Obviously the AI difficulty is turned down from my usual setting, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyway, we got off the grid now and heading down into La Source where the AI can never position themselves well, so I'm just gonna casually gain, gain 7 positions. Um, I think it's gonna be 7 positions by just breaking late. Um, then I have to fix this for the next day game, I, I think. I definitely think. Uh, now going up through uh, Radian, and uh, this is a very sketchy place in the Williams car because you don't have that much downforce. Um, anyway, using some ERS there just to get away from signs, and now I'm actually gonna outbreak myself massively into Lacom, uh, hitting Perez up the back. Uh, hopefully, I don't have any damage from that. Uh, getting past Stroll, as, as you can see, checking there, uh, and I don't have any damage from the contact with Checo, who now I am going around the outside of, um, heading up towards the no name corner using the curb on the left hand side to get a better exit and hopefully get this move done but of course I have to mess this up I break way too late uh, I mess up my braking for the Puan corner and Chaco comes right back at me uh, he's still there on the left hand side as you can see in the mirror uh, and I am having to leave him space through this section uh, now I'm trying to politely push him just off the track to discourage him from uh, making any further inroads uh, but he's still there. Now dropping into Gasly's slipstream, so I can hopefully use him as a tow. Uh, get a tow from him, I mean. Uh, but I'm not using Rich Fuel or ERS, so obviously Checo is uh, catching me back up, and he's gonna try to go around the outside of the bus stop, but I have him covered off there, and I think that's the position that uh, actually uh, claimed, as I now use ERS, get past Gasly, he was very very slow exiting the bus stop and now around the outside of Sepp uh, exiting last source uh, again some ERS but the Ferrari car never really stood a chance they are obviously very very abysmal in a straight line uh, even against a Williams and even though I'm running 2.7 wings which is um, you know which is which has it's a higher downforce setup than the default setup because the rear wing has the uh, biggest effect on your straight line speed, uh, bigger than your uh, front wing, as now I'm going side by side into Lake Com with Seb, and he's actually steered there, so I have to fully use the curb on the left hand side to get ahead of him, but I think that's the move done. Now I'm gonna be training the pack, the little trio here, consisting of the Turinos and Charles Leclerc. Um, using a bit, just a bit of ERS, they're on the exit, uh, of the no name, but I'm finally gonna get into my rhythm here and just stretch my legs out as we skip ahead onto the beginning of lap 3. Uh, closing up to the back of Ocon uh, in the braking zone for last sorts. Obviously, the player can brake much later than the AI either because they don't wanna brake late for last sorts for some reason. And I'm not gonna actually go for the move on this lap. Uh, I have the resources to go for it, but I just wanted to test the Renault straight line speed first because uh, you know they are pretty handy uh, in a straight line. I think um, their engine is actually the fastest in a straight line, at least in my experience. So I even went into standard fuel mix on the Camel straight uh, because I just was testing the water at how slower or faster I am in a straight line compared to the Renault. And I know that this looked like a mistake uh, running quite there. But I was also testing the water there, uh, trying to see if I was able to outbreak them into that corner. But I decided to make the move on a straight, as you can see, skipping ahead to the beginning of the next lap. And this time, I'm actually gonna bother and uh, make a move, hopefully on Ocon. Um, then on Leclerc, who has been passed by Ricciardo. Um, Leclerc is gonna be very easy to pass, I think. But now, uh, I have to get past Esteban here, uh, on the Camel straight, through a rouge, uh, a bit sketchy through that, but I get through that cleanly. Now Rich Mix, ERS deployed, DRS activated, 
and let's see how much of an erode I can make. Um, not much, not any, if I'm honest. Setting a purple sector though, but for the moment I have to stay in Ocon's dirty air through this section, but he actually had a very, very slow exit, I don't know for what reason, but he had a very slow exit and I'm gonna go down his inside. Uh, the right front tire locking, uh, some contact made, but I think that was a clean move. Uh, I haven't ruined his race, or mine for that matter, as I get a back end slide, the exit in no name. And I messed up my braking for the Puan again. Um, and he went for the same move that Checo did Ariel, but I was able to defend him, uh, defend from him uh, much better than from Checo. And that's the position uh, claimed now, P8, and now setting up the next move, which is gonna be on the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Uh, he's not gonna be much of a challenge for me, I think. I still have a lot of ERS, over 70% remaining at this stage. Uh, it's Obviously, it's a very early stage in the race, but if you do this last to first challenges, you want to get through all these soil cars as early as possible. Especially if you're on the alternate strategy and running, you know, the slower tire compound. But getting a very, very nice exit from the bus stop here, and I'm gonna go to his left hand side, uh, much like I did with Sepp. Uh, around the outside at La Source to his left, and actually here I overstepped the mark on the curb and half span, kind of half span, just went um, slightly into shell. Got a very, very well deserved warning for that contact there. Now heading into uh, onto the camel straight, moving to the right hand side of the track to fend off any possible counter attack from Charles and he is really really going for it down the camel straight, he's gonna move to the left and he's gonna try to outbreak me on the outside uh, into late com but I don't think he had quite enough on the brakes there for me and that's another position up into P7 uh, in front of me there is Honey Badger and then Norris and then I can finally get after the front runners so it's looking quite good but actually I make uh, another huge mistake here uh, a bigger one than before just got on the power too early again for the second time in the same lap just slid nearly into the wall I was very fortunate that to not collide with the wall or shall but I will move on from that and we're now gonna skip ahead to lap 6 uh, trailing Ricardo now um, in closer distance um, than I was before. He has been very very slow on this lap so I think uh, his soft tires may have been, may have been hitting uh, their cliff of performance so I expect him to actually beat this lap uh, but I still get caught off guard by him beating there. I was really confused for a second. Uh, I wanted to kind of overtake him exiting the bus stop and then I got like uh, stopped in my tracks by him pitting but I still set the, my personal best lap of the race and despite the uh, right front lockup that you just saw there uh, I thought that the tires were in their best state yet um, the handling was really really good but uh, if you look at the top left now you can see that Hamilton is 10 seconds up the road and still pulling away from me on the one softs so my confidence wasn't that great um, I was beginning to realize that I may not catch him so now uh, Albon and Hamilton are pitting on the next lap, Hamilton already in the box and Albon is now coming in and now the most boring uh, part of the race begins, of course if you're on the alternate strategy you are just running several laps on your own to try to overcut your rivals. Um, the AI going for the hard tires obviously as I get a very very obvious moment there exiting with a source so the tires are starting to deteriorate a little bit but I still have to do this in order for the strategy to work out so I'm gonna spare you the boringness of those several laps that I was just hot lapping the spa circuit in a clean air and we're just gonna skip right through to lap 14 the tires are absolutely gone at this point uh, as, as you can see on the top left I have maintained the gap to Verstappen I have extended the gap on Verstappen um, you know Bottas, Albon and the like but Hamilton has actually closed up to me uh, by 3 seconds, despite my overcut attempt. So this is not looking very very good as I was saying earlier. Uh, I was hoping to extend this thing, but as you can see my tires are nearly into the puncture territory. The front left actually right now going into the puncture territory, so I definitely have to pit this lap. Uh, I wanted to extend this thing because, uh, you know, the Williams as you can see has 
quite hard tire wear, so I wanted to have fresher softs for a challenge at the end, but I guess that's not going to work. Now coming into the pits, a uh, nice slide into the line, very careful there not to get a speeding penalty, because that would be the end of my hopes in this race. And the little prediction thingy on the MFD was telling me that I'm, I will come out in 4th position, which is behind Bottas, but as we will see in but a moment, after a 2.5 second pit stop, getting onto the soft tires, now going into the pit line exit and I'm actually uh, gonna go out right alongside Bottas, not behind him, just right alongside, uh, immediately onto ERS, onto Rich, makes the trying everything, but the AI never lived off before a rush. Now going up to Radeon, I actually had to leave there, uh, just to avoid him killing uh, both of us there. Uh, now using Rich, mix, using ERS, and still not getting on in a straight line, the Mer Mercedes top speed compared to the Williams is just insane. But I'm gonna go using the grip of the soft tires and using the braking advantage of the player to go right around his outside, heading into Laycom, and I think that is third place secured at this point. Nothing he can do, I'm just pulling a gap on him immediately. Uh, look on the top left, it's just now uh, rocketing skyward, eight tenths in like two corners, so he's no match for me at this point. And now through Puon, I'm going now after Verstappen and Hamilton. Hamilton may be a bit too far for um, for a realistic goal in this race, but Verstappen is seven a bit a bit over seven seconds um, ahead of me, and there are seven laps remaining. And I reckon that on this on those soft tires, I can actually catch him at least one second per lap, as we now skip ahead onto the end of lap 16, setting the fastest lap of the race, uh, 148 flat, and I have actually gained like nearly 4 seconds uh, on Verstappen uh, in just this moment, so it's looking pretty good, uh, actually getting within 10 seconds of Hamilton at this point, but I'm sti I still don't think I'm gonna catch him. Uh, my goal for now is Max. Uh, as you can see, uh, I was running with uh, high reserves of ERS for most of this race, but now I'm using all of it. I'm also um, getting rid of all the surplus fuel, which is, you know, has a bad and good sides because you don't have that surplus amount of ERS and fuel to conserve for later. Uh, but also, uh, but also you have to like. N not get to the other extreme, uh, which means that you have to conserve in the uh, slower sections of the track, like sector 2, but now skipping ahead by another lap, and I have gained like another half, uh, a second and a half on Verstappen, so I'm coming at him at a rate of not. Um, up to Radion, as, as you can see, uh, I don't have a lot of ERS remaining, just 7%, now 6%, heading into the bus stop, and I really, really need to get in his DRS range, heading onto the final lap, so I can at least get that P2. And actually, there is, at uh, La Source, there is a yellow flag zone, caused by Daniel Kvyat, who has just retired there, and Max, for some unknown reason, he has just backed up massively, uh, as a reaction to that yellow flag. He has backed up so massively, he just lost 7 tenths in a corner, and he has put me in his DRS range, so not a smart move from that AI there. And now I'm gonna be all over the back of the Flying Dutchman, actually going into lean fuel on the camel straight because I was not just close enough uh, to make a move yet. But in this game, if you have played this game, you obviously know that once you get in someone's DRS, it is much easier to follow. Of course, the dirty air, uh, not very helpful, it throws you around, but I mean, you don't have to push that hard anymore. Um, you have to push very very hard and use a lot of ERS to get in someone's ERS zone but once you are there, they are just towing you along the track and you can just explore um, any opportunities that present um, themselves to you uh, and I'm gonna go and explore those opportunities right now heading now onto the third to last lap of the race and I'm really really eager to get uh, on with the job now testing the outside of Lathors uh, but Max had nothing uh, of it Using again ERS, I'm still very very low on ERS, haven't been using it sparingly, I have been just spamming the overtake button all over the place. Uh, and actually I don't think it was that visible in the video, but I have uh, had a very slidey moment uh, over the top of Radeon and that prevented me from actually 
uh, catching up to Verstappen and just prevented me from attempting any serious move. So I just wasted a bit of ERS again there. And I'm gonna have to wait for another opportunity. Maybe I have to get him uh, before the trade begins because um, the Erush and the Camel Strait is not really a strong area for me. As you can see, once again, just 6% of ERS remaining. Purple Fire Searcher, and I'm gonna go for a dive at the inside at La Source. Uh, I run in uh, way too deep there, Max gets the switch back, I wanted to get past him, but then I realized that the DRS detection is coming up, so I can pass him now, getting off the ERS, uh, still very very low on that ERS, off at the top of a rush, again very sketchy there, and now DRS, uh, rich mix, ERS, I'm gonna use some, uh, despite having only 4% left, to the outside, as they come, uh, gonna outbreak Max, trying to outbreak Max, run in a little bit too deep, I think he's still there, but now I've got the position and that is the move done for P2. Uh, I don't think it's over though, because we are at the crossover point and the softs are now um, once again losing their advantage, their grip advantage, and uh, leveling with the hearts. So I expect a huge, huge push for the P2 from Max on this lap as we now enter the final lap. Uh, he's just six tenths behind, but actually uh, exiting La Source for some reason he's very very slow here and I believe he actually is gonna fall outside of my DRS range um, for a moment there. Uh, I mean, uh, after a Radeon he immediately gets back within a second, but I think at the exact DRS detection zone uh, he was below, uh, you know, outside of the one second window, so he wasn't able to use DRS. I used ERS to defend myself anyway. Uh, I don't think he had anything left in the tank at that point, but uh, neither had I. So I was very, very grateful that uh, he was making as bad decisions as I was. Um, and I think that's gonna be it, because Lewis is pulling away again. He really is inevitable, even in the game. But P2 in a Williams, in this very, very random challenge, is gonna be, you know, kind of satisfying for me. Uh, it was nothing serious and Lewis is gonna win the race. He was unbeatable as always, well, uh, except for today's race in Baku, he wasn't unbeatable. But anyway, I have beaten everyone else and I come home in a very hefty P2. Jeff, obviously, he is unimpressed as always. You can just go from last to second at Latifi and he's just gonna guide you back to Park Fame. Uh, yeah, nice, okay, whatever. What a great race then, and what a magnificent victory here at the Belgian Grand Prix. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So that is it then for this video. If you enjoyed it at least in a 50% I say, uh, I hope that you stick around for some uh, of the next videos and the channel is gonna get fully underway once the next game comes out. And I acknowledge that my commentary and driving was very iffy in this video, but I'm trying to improve, so I guess I'll see you next time. And I hope to get more ideas because for now I'm a little bit out of ideas on this old game and goodbye.